Well, we hear that applied materials in CI, and we have Dr. Wang Ping. Um, can you introduce yourself and how long you've worked in, in applied materials? Yes, uh, my name is Sri Ping Wang, and uh, this is my 15th year at Applied Materials. Uh, I've worked in Applied Materials headquarters for seven years, then in China for eight years, and uh, started with uh, supporting China's uh, Applied Materials China uh, semiconductor business wrapping uh, eight years ago, and I moved to Xi'an to build the solar R&D team starting from last year. Yeah. And so why did Applied Materials come to China? What is the history behind that and the reasons behind that? Actually, this uh, was based on the long-term strategy that Applied Materials former uh, chairman Jim Morgan set uh, 27 years ago and also continued by our current uh, uh, chairman and CEO, Max Bunter. And they both had a very strong belief in China uh, for long-term strategic development both from business side and also from product uh, side. So that's the fundamental reason for us to be in China and also for uh, us to start building the uh, R&D development capabilities in China. Why did Applied Materials set up a, decide to set up its R&D center in, in Xi'an in particular, in Shanxi province, which is not by the coast and not your traditional big city? Yes, uh, many people ask about this question, and I think Applied Materials made a right decision to come to Xi'an. And uh, there are uh, two major factors. One is the uh, resource uh, abundance in, in, in Xi'an. Xi'an has 47 universities. It's the largest university city next to Beijing in China. So, and also, uh, second is that uh, Xi'an has a long history of um, uh, um, um, a heavy machining and uh, technology development history in China. Uh, it used to be mostly focused on the military side, but today more and more on the civil side. So there's a lot of um, research institute accompanied by the universities. So I think with both of the uh, research capability, industrial foundation, and also the, um, the universities, it gives us very good environment for us to build our R&D capabilities. And uh, also, location-wise, uh, I, I view it's an uh, advantage um, uh, also because um, here in, uh, in the central part of China, and they offer some stability as well, and which is definitely required for uh, accumulating the um, very much needed experience level in order to do uh, R&D work. Could you say something about China in general, about its general policies in uh, clean energy, uh, in solar, and, and how that makes it attractive for a business like Applied Materials to, to situate their mm. R&D center. In terms of the uh, policy, and I think uh, China is on a, a good track right now uh, to make efforts to improve uh, the policy support for clean energy. But in terms of the current status, I don't think uh, it's at the level that I expected uh, for, so, for clean energy industry. But I'm very happy to see the environment uh, is getting better and better. And also, the, there are more and more people are lobbying government and working on uh, promoting uh, government to, uh, uh, to release uh, uh, more supporting policies for clean energy uh, in China. And uh, China government did take uh, more and more uh, measures and steps in, uh, in this uh, direction. So that's a very positive size. But uh, I think uh, another reason, uh, in addition to uh, policy side, uh, is really the market, uh, mm -hmm. which bring all the international companies uh, here and, uh, and draw a lot of people's attention is really the market. How big do you think the market can be in China? Well, it can, uh, it can be as large as people can push it to. Yeah. What about Xi'an government and Shanxi government and provincial government in general, like in terms of their policies and the support for businesses like yours, like applied materials? Yeah, that's a very good question. And the Shanxi uh, provincial government and the Xi'an uh, city government give uh, companies like applied materials very good support. And they're also putting a lot of efforts in attracting international companies like applied materials and also to promote clean energy uh, um, industries and development in Shanxi province and Xi'an uh, city. And especially on the PV and LED area, 
mm -hmm. and this become uh, this has been the number one governor's uh, project uh, in the third of the past year and extended it to this year and they have uh, uh, made great efforts and um, both in terms of infrastructure and uh, uh, resource support uh, uh, um, and uh, policy support part for the local companies to get into solar and also to develop solar industries in Shanxi province. Okay. So I'm very happy to see um, the Shanxi government's efforts in this area. What kind of support in particular did they give uh, applied materials? Um, um, uh, in addition examples. to uh, our operational supports in uh, Xi'an and uh, also uh, we're, we're well connected with, the, with our peer um, uh, uh, partners uh, in the clean energy area in Shanxi province and uh, we work very closely with Shanxi government and uh, to promote the clean energy development in Shanxi province and also we offer some um, uh, good uh, uh, support to the local um, communities as well and uh, we view this as a win-win situation for both us and also local governments and uh, um, in terms of uh, we are also actively involved in uh, um, uh, government sponsored projects such, such as Golden Sun Project and also we're uh, on one of the approved uh, project list mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, to begin with. Yeah. Okay. Can you say just a few words about where Applied Materials is located in terms of the high tech industrial zone? Maybe it's Give some details about this zone right. in, in, and, um, in Xi'an. Uh, we're located in the uh, Xi'an high tech zone, uh, zone B area, which is in the southwest corner of Xi'an city. Um, uh, um, this offers a large open area for, for, uh, for future development and expansion. And also, uh, Xi'an government has built a very good infrastructure here, including heavy access to the airport and things like that. Uh, when you come to the company, you see there's a, a, a ramp uh, going to the um, uh, express third run and uh, will be connected very shortly and this will make it very easy to go to the airport and uh, mm -hmm. get on the third run of the city. Yeah. Right, and it's also attracted a lot of other companies, multinational and Chinese companies. Right. Uh, right. Uh, some examples? Uh, like Micron, they have their uh, yeah. packing fabs here and, uh, and recently they just had our, their expansion celebration uh, uh, just last week, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, great. Well, thank you so much. Dr. Wang, for, your, for sharing your insights on the plant materials. Thank you.